Well, in uh, concentration camps, they uh, broke my fingers and, yes, yes. and uh, uh, fist, uh, yeah. left and right. Yeah. Hospital, and the operation was a long time in a very bad condition. And, uh, artery. artery was blocked, gangrene, gangrene. Imala sam dosta traumatične ove dvije, tri godine. Godine? Ma ja, ovo ima prolazim traumatičan period. It was very traumatic period for her. Malo balans energija. Problem to balans, also energy. Ja, jer ošćam veliku napetost i emocionalno sam. She can tension also emotionally, she is not feeling good. Ja. Cry. Posla se vraćajući, to je bilo oko pola pijet na veći. Iz ragljica granata je pala pred kuću. I've been so impressed with Sarajevo. It is a beautiful city set in the most pretty valley and we've turned up in autumn. The trees are just starting to turn so you've got this little orange glow on the edges. And I had imagined that all the historical buildings would have been um, bombed and no longer here, but actually there's a lot more history about than I thought. The old town itself is really lovely to walk around, shops, places for tourists to go. Down at the bottom of the hill is the famous Latin bridge and uh, cross over the bridge and we're in uh, Basharshia, the old town, and plenty of restaurants, shops, um, and bars, just about everything you could require, so all within walking distance. The apartment that we stay in above the clinic is uh, well presented and comfortable with uh, all the amenities that you'd need to have a great week that you'd expect if you went on holiday and, and hired an apartment. So I think that everything's as nice as I could want it to be. Also working in uh, actually six outreach places. That means uh, every day two are working with me and two going outreach every day different place. And from last year we have new association that is uh, women victims of war. And I'm going in in uh, them office with uh, one or two uh, therapists and doing. Uh, uh, treating members of uh, association. I think it struck a nerve with me because the people had been in s such an unpleasant conflict and that they were going to be left with not only physical but emotional trauma. And I think it's really important that we live quite a blessed life uh, back in the UK. And I had the opportunity to be able to take some time off work and, and come here and I felt that that was just something wonderful I'd be able to do. This is really the reason why I got into the complementary therapies. If the person I am treating um, is going to feel better, then that's good enough for me. Yeah. And realizing the physical, emotional traumas that they've experienced, we can provide just a little tiny bit of uh, comfort for them, then that's enough. This association, uh, Healing Hands, appears and they help me because of my backs and my hands and what I'm going through in the constellation camp. It was very helpful. Every one of our client I met in sometimes during the season, I just note the difference from the beginning and now as for each season, you know, f from April to, to October, how our client change actually. 
we, they are we, very very pleased with uh, I don't know everything they are so happy in April when I'm calling when we are starting because they recognize my voice and now they know now we are starting again you know yeah.